He was bigger than life, Sonny Bono, a man who succeeded in both showbiz and politics, a singer, songwriter, actor, and producer, mostly known for his role in the singing duo of Sonny and Cher, recording hits like I Got You Babe and The Beat Goes On. Bono's widow Mary spoke to me on the phone, reminiscing about her late husband, 20 years after his tragic death at a ski resort in South Lake Tahoe. A funeral that brought entertainers and politicians from across the country to the desert. She says that every year at this time, she feels a bit mopey and melancholy. I, I step back and I feel, you know, the loss and the pain. And then I start thinking about all the great joys that I experienced during my life with Sonny and then in the life after that. So it's a bittersweet day. Mary was Bono's fourth wife. They have two children and were a team while running a restaurant in Palm Springs when he ran for mayor and when he successfully became a member of the U.S. House of Representatives in the 44th District. I do. Three times with all Thank you. Guys. I guess I'm really sworn in. After his death, Mary was elected to fill the remainder of his congressional term and would go on to serve more than 14 years in Congress. She says for Sonny, showbiz to politics was an easy transition. People liked him because he never took himself too seriously and he really appreciated other people's stories and uh, understood the lives that they were living and whatever complications they might be having. So uh, I think that he prided himself in being a very approachable uh, figure. Bono used his likability to get things done as mayor of Palm Springs and in Congress. Locally, among many issues close to his heart, he worked tirelessly to get funding to help restore the Salton Sea. He led the charge to end what he saw as the mayhem of spring break in downtown to help shop owners and restaurants thrive. And of course, the Palm Springs Film Festival. The Film Festival certainly, I think, was such a great legacy of Sonny's. And he was the first one to recognize that we needed to bring back the glitz and the glamour of Palm Springs and basically restore it as a premier tourist destination. It had lost some of its luster. And the glitz and glamour is definitely back. Now in its 29th year, the biggest names in Hollywood attend each year, and the film festival itself is a moneymaker for the city.